We will leave a 20 second timer after each maths riddle, just to give you some time to think. But if that's not enough, you can always just pause the video. Please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to stay up to date with all our new releases. There are two ducks in front of two other ducks. There are two ducks behind two other ducks. There are two ducks beside two other ducks. How many ducks are there? The answer? Four ducks. They're in a square formation. Harry says, The day before yesterday, I was 25, and the next year, I will be 28. This is only true on one day in a year. What day is Harry's birthday? Answer. Harry's birthday is on the 31st of December. He must have made this statement on the 1st of January, as the day before yesterday, the 30th of December, he was 25. He then turned 26 on the 31st of December, his birthday. He made his statement in a new year. So, in that year, he would be 27, and the next year, he would be 28. Today is Connor's birthday. A year ago, on his last birthday, he had five candles, and he lit them all, except for the last one. Today, he is going to light all the candles. How old is Connor today? By the way, he's, he's not turning five. Answer. Connor is 31 years old today, as he is lighting the candles in binary. If you convert the number 30 into binary, you will get 11110, which is why Connor lit all the candles except the last one a year ago. However, the number 31 in binary is 11111. Hence, Connor lights all the candles this time. If 29 minus 1 equals 30, and 9 minus 1 equals 10, and 14 minus 1 equals 15, based on the above logic, can you prove that 11 minus 1 equals 10? Answer. The trick to solving this maths riddle is to think of the numbers in their Roman numerical form. The Roman equivalent for the number 1 is i, so if you remove from the left side, you get the number on the right side. For example, 29 minus 1 equals 30 works out as xxix minus i, which equals xxx, or in normal numbers, 30. 14 minus 1 equals 15, in Roman numerals, is XIV minus I, which then comes out to XV or 15. 9 minus 1 equals 10, works out in Roman numerals as IX minus I equals X, or 10. Therefore, 11 minus 1 equals 10, is XI minus I equals X, which works out as 10. There are 100 people standing in a circle, all numbered from 1 to 100. Person 1 has a sword, and he uses it to kill person number 2, and then gives the sword to person number 3. Person number 3 kills person number 4 with the sword, and then gives it to person number 5. 
This is continued until only one person is left standing. Which number survives? Answer. Person 73 will be the last man standing. This riddle can be solved using the Josephus problem approach. If you notice the pattern of eliminating every second person, all the even numbered people will get killed the first time you go around the circle. Whenever the number of people are in powers of two, person one will always survive. So the solution requires getting to the nearest small number, that is the power of two, or alternatively, the greatest power of two that is less than the number of people in the circle. For example, there are 100 people in the circle, so if we write out the powers of two, the number 100 lies between two to the power of six, 64, and two to the power of seven, 128. In this case, 2 to the power of 6, or 64, is the greatest power of 2 that is less than the total number of people in the circle. Therefore, if you construct the following equation, n equals 2 times open bracket x minus y, close bracket, plus 1, where n equals survivor and x equals number of people in the circle, and y equals greatest power of 2 that is less than or equal to the total of number of people in the circle, you can input the necessary values to work out the survivor. So in this case, n equals 2 times open brackets, 100 minus 64, close brackets plus 1, and therefore n equals 73. You, you can, of course, just solve this a long way by writing down each individual number and working your way through it. I mean, whatever works, I guess. Or do it in person. Couldn't possibly go horribly. Hang on. Maybe don't. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please show your support by leaving a like and sharing this video, as it really does help us a lot. Don't forget to comment below too, and we will pin up the best comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a video from us. Lastly, for daily facts and more, follow all of our social media accounts, which are on screen and in the description. Thanks, and until the next video.